More often than I would like, I come across something that uh, probably should have been built a little differently. Or, um, you know, and a lot of times that I do come across stuff, I understand that uh, people, we just can't figure everything out. We can't cover everything. It just isn't going to happen. I even do it myself. But uh, here's something I would like you to think about before installing some type of rope lighting around a stairway or a handrail. And I'm sure this looks nice in the night. It's all wrapping around here and they got some looks like some red Christmas lights here I mean it looks nice I'm sure it looks nice in the nighttime but when it comes to a stairway there's a few things we're going to need to consider and that is the fact that debris will accumulate on the bottom moisture will accumulate on the bottom so it's always going to be better to have something like this a little higher this right here isn't too bad if you don't have um, another place to put it you know this would be fine um, it's not on the ground it's not near the debris it's not near the water something like this is and then something like this actually looks like this is a little loose this is something that uh, leaves and stuff can't accumulate behind it's not going to be easy to clean you're going to be moving it i would suggest raising these lights and and sticking them underneath the overhang if you do have it just run it underneath the overhang it's probably going to give it a little hidden effect and uh going to produce the light kind of a light pattern that you're going to want for someone walking up and down the stairs now what do you do if you don't have a nosing we can see here we don't have a nosing at the top and I wouldn't suggest installing a nosing because you install something on the edge here and there's a lot of pressure as you walk up the stairs you're walking putting a lot of pressure at the edge of the nosing here if you were going to do something like this I'd recommend cutting it back and installing something at least five and a half inches wide and then of course you could put your lighting underneath the nosing but if you don't have a nosing for something like this again maybe in the middle just don't have it on the ground the last observation I would like to point out is let's not forget that this is considered a grippable handrail on stairs with more than one step I believe you need to have a grippable handrail and this the lighting right here is uh, going to create a problem for that in some cases so wouldn't be a bad idea to um, maybe run the lighting from side to side pole to pole just don't have it on the part where you will be using it to grip and hold on to and a lot of times well you know when I come across something like this you know it's usually designed by somebody and or and built by somebody who doesn't have problems walking up and down the stairs they're not holding on to the handrails this doesn't really it's kind of like hey this is just a decoration anyway might as well throw some lights around it but this isn't the case when you have people that have difficult times older people who have a difficult time walking up and down stairs they don't want this stuff in the way they want to just be able to roll their hand up here and get up the stairs um, as uh, with the least amount of obstacles i guess as possible anyway that's it before using any rope lighting for a stairway just keep in mind that uh, safety first make sure that it isn't going to be touching any water no moisture it's not going to be um, sitting in something like that it's not going to be a safety hazard uh, that way and uh, make sure it's not going to be in an area where it's going to be collecting debris going to make it difficult to clean and of course the handrails any type of safety you know i mean these are still things that someone if placed incorrectly could actually trip on too so i see a lot of problems with something like this that someone else might not see and again a little bit of thought and a little bit, bit, bit of planning can go a long way and uh, save some uh, people a lot of frustration in the future